Hello everyone, and welcome back to 1000 Verses channel, your go-to channel for all things biblical knowledge and trivia. In today's episode, we'll be exploring a wide range of questions that will challenge your understanding of the Bible's stories, teachings, and history. If you enjoy testing your biblical wits and expanding your understanding of the Word, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Are you ready to dive into the world of Bible trivia? Let's get started. Question 1. Paul called those in the church at Corinth what in his greeting in 1 Corinthians? Is it sinners, apostles, or saints? The correct answer is Saints 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 2 To them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus called to be saints Question 2 Who did Paul say judged him is it the Lord the Pharisees or Peter The correct answer is the Lord, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Ultimate accountability lays with the Lord. Question 3. Who did Paul send to Corinth? Is it John Mark, Timothy, or John? The correct answer is Timothy, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. Paul sent Timothy to help straighten out the church. Question 4. Mentioned in 1 Thessalonians 3, what can give comfort during affliction and distress? Is it forgetting, talking, or faith? The correct answer is faith, 1 Thessalonians, chapter 3, verse 7. Paul and his friends were greatly persecuted because they were spreading the teachings of Christ, but faith comforted them. Question 5. After the flood, what was the sign of the covenant that God made with Noah and his descendants? Is it a dove, fire, or rainbow? The correct answer is Rainbow Genesis chapter 9, verse 12 to 13. The rainbow is designated as the sign of this covenant, a visible reminder of God's promise of His mercy and a commitment to preserve life on earth. Question 6. What two birds did Noah send out of the ark? Is it raven and sparrow, raven and dove, or sparrow and dove? The correct answer is raven and dove, Genesis chapter 8, verse 6 to 8. Noah is taking steps to assess the conditions outside the ark after the flood. He sends out a raven and later a dove to gauge the state of the earth and the receding of the flood waters. Question 7. How old was Noah when the great flood occurred? Is it 80, 160, or 600? The correct answer is 600, Genesis chapter 7, verse 6. And Noah was 600 years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. Question 8. How long does God tell Noah it will rain across the earth? 
Is it 40 days and 40 nights, 60 days and 60 nights, or 90 days and 90 nights? The correct answer is 40 days and 40 nights. Genesis chapter 7 verse 4. God sets a specific timeline, stating that in seven days, He will send rain that will last for 40 days and 40 nights. Question 9. Who did Moses take with him to speak to Pharaoh? Is it Dan the Levite, Jethro, his father-in-law, or Aaron, his brother? The correct answer is Aaron, his brother, Exodus chapter 4, verse 14. God is responding to Moses, who expressed concerns about his ability to speak eloquently and be persuasive before Pharaoh. God's anger is directed at Moses' reluctance and lack of confidence in God's plan. Question 10. When Moses asks God's name at the burning bush, what does God say? Is it, I am God? I am who I am, or I am and always will be. The correct answer is, I am who I am. Exodus chapter 3 verse 14. God is responding to Moses' question about what name he should use when speaking to the Israelites about the God who is sending him to lead them out of slavery in Egypt. Question 11. What did Elisha throw into the Jordan in order to make an axe head float? Is it a stick, a burnt offering, or an axe head? The correct answer is a stick, Second Kings. Chapter 6, verse 6. Elisha, a prophet of God, recovers a lost axe head by tossing a stick into the water where it fell. Through divine intervention, the iron axe head floats to the surface, enabling the prophet to retrieve it. Question 12. On what day did the apostles first speak in tongues? Is it Jesus' resurrection day, Passover, or Pentecost? The correct answer is Pentecost, Acts chapter 2, verse 4. This event marks the beginning of the public ministry of the apostles and the spread of the message of Jesus to people of various languages and backgrounds. Question 13. At what gate of the temple did Peter heal the lame man? Is it eastern, beautiful, or golden? The correct answer is beautiful, Acts chapter 3, verse 2. This event is significant in the early Christian narrative, illustrating the power of the apostles in the name of Jesus and their role in spreading the message of the gospel. Question 14. What did Paul do to bar Jesus? Is it blinded him, praised him, or preached to him? The correct answer is, blinded him. Acts chapter 13, verse 11. Apostle Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, is addressing Bar-Jesus, who is opposing the preaching of the gospel. Paul declares that the hand of the Lord is against Bar-Jesus. Question 15. Where was Paul forbidden to preach? Is it Jerusalem, Egypt, or Asia? The correct answer is Asia, 
Acts chapter 16, verse 6. The Holy Spirit directed the missionary activities of Paul and his companions away from Asia, indicating a divine plan and purpose in the spreading of the gospel. Question 16. Name David's son who became king at his death. Is it Nathan, Solomon, or Jonathan? The correct answer is Solomon, 1 Kings, chapter 2, verse 1. King David, recognizing that his death was imminent, gives a charge or command to his son Solomon. Question 17. How many years did it take Solomon to build the Lord's temple? Is it five, eight, or seven? The correct answer is 7, 1 Kings, chapter 6, verse 38. The completion of the temple represented the fulfillment of David's desire to build a permanent dwelling place for the Ark of the Covenant and a place of worship for the Israelites. Question 18. Of what material were all of Solomon's drinking vessels made? Is it silver, bronze, or gold? The correct answer is gold, 1 Kings chapter 10, verse 21. It illustrates the wealth and prosperity of the kingdom under Solomon, as well as the high regard for gold as a precious metal. Question 19. Jeroboam made two of what kind of idol? Is it golden calves, bronze snakes, or silver foxes? The correct answer is golden calves, 1 Kings chapter 12, verse 28. Jeroboam is worried that if his people continue to go to Jerusalem to worship at the temple, they might eventually reunite with the southern kingdom of Judah. So he made two golden calves to represent the God who brought them out of Egypt. Question 20. In 1 Kings 20, what does Ben-Hadad, king of Syria, not demand from Ahab? Is it his wives, his children, or his horses? The correct answer is his horses. 1 Kings chapter 20 verse 3. Ben-Hadad demands that Ahab surrender his gold, wives, and children. Question 21. Jesus came by water, and what? Is it flesh, blood, or bread? The correct answer is blood, 1 John chapter 5, verse 6. Jesus had to come by blood, as it is his blood that paid the price for our sins. Question 22. For there is one God and one dash between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Is it restorer, savior, or mediator? The correct answer is mediator, 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 5. Christ is the only mediator between God and man. Question 23. 
What did Felix feel when Paul told him of Christ? Is it angered, happy, or fearful? The correct answer is fearful. Acts chapter 24, verse 25. Felix trembled as he listened to Paul speak. Question 24. After enduring the cross and despising the shame, where is Jesus set down? Is it right hand of the throne of God, before the throne of God, or heavens? The correct answer is, right hand of the throne of God, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Question 25. Who gives a spiritual increase? Is it ministers, missionaries, or God? The correct answer is God, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 7. All spiritual development comes from God, not by man. If you enjoyed the quiz, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Let's have your thoughts and comments about our quiz in the comments section below.